Healing abutment versus cover screw. Uh, what are the differences? I mean, I'll show you um, how they kind of look compared to, to each other and also how they look on the implant and then also uh, sort of like a simulation of what it would sort of look like in the mouth, okay? So first of all, the one on the right is a, is a cover screw, all right? It's gonna hold it up a little bit, twist it around, show you from different angles so you can kind of see what it looks like. I mean, it literally looks like a screw, right? Um, you can compare that to a healing abutment or healing cap or healing abutment screw. Uh, people call these by various different names, right? I mean, it's sort of very similar. It's, it's screw shape as well, right? It's just rotating it around so you can see. I mean, if you kind of compare the two side by side, um, one is obviously a lot bigger than the other one. The healing abutment is significantly uh, larger than the cover screw. So how these are used, right? They are actually both placed into an implant, okay? So here we have the, the implant, right? It's a medical grade titanium screw. And at the top here, there's like an opening. There's like a little hole. And then uh, they insert into there. So I'll show you what they look like um, attached to the implant. So I'm going to put the cover screw in first, just so you can kind of see. All right, let's get it to focus. All right, you literally just twist it in. And then once this is in, it's, it's pretty flush, right? It doesn't add any additional height to it. And now you see the top is closed off. Um, the best way for me to describe this is that I, I like to call the cover screw a manhole cover for the uh, implant, you know, just to prevent things from falling into it, like the like your gums or blood or, f or food or, or whatnot, right? So I'm going to take it off now, and I'll show you what it looks like with the... Um, the healing abutment in there okay so I'll put the healing abutment on since this one is, is big enough I can kind of just screw it in with my finger all right and as you can see it it makes the implant a uh, significantly taller right it is a lot bigger on there but it still sort of serves the same purpose in that it it, it blocks the hole and it prevents things from uh, going into there okay so now i'll give you a demonstration of what it could uh, kind of potentially look like inside the mouth here i have a model right and you see the implant down there and then here we have like some fake gums so for the um the cover screw right usually because it is uh, so slim and so small it doesn't really stick out when we put it into there it actually uh, disappears right it's on it it is actually a but beneath the gum so you don't really see anything here right so you don't you literally don't don't see anything at all it's below where the gums are and because it is below where the gums are the gums will kind of uh, heal over and close over it so on day one it may look like this but by the end of the week it will be gone you cannot see this at all so that is uh, a defining attribute of a cover screw it is typically you uh, put in immediately after the implant is inserted into the jawbone okay so you put the cover screw on so the gums don't grow into it and then essentially you let the implant heal undisturbed right because nothing can touch it because the gums are will cover over it so now I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, healing abutment on um, the one I was showing you before is a little too short for this model so I'll, I'll use a taller one all right, so basically all the cover screws, they they come in like a similar size. They may be different width, but it's, it's never really like longer up top. So for the, the healing abutments, they do come in uh, various different sizes. So I'll show you just a couple examples to see how some are much wider and some are also um, a lot longer too, right? See that? All right, so I think this one is easy to see, so I'll just uh, kind of show you. So what the uh, healing abutment does is it does not get submerged underneath the gums because it is um, meant to be a lot longer and it's supposed to stick above the gum line. So I'll screw it all the way down just to show you. All right, so that's, that's screwed all the way down. As you can see, you can still see this, right? And that is the uh, defining attribute of having a healing abutment in, in your mouth. Uh, you can see it, you can feel it, and you can touch it, right? You can, uh, you will feel it with your tongue and you will know it is there, okay? With the, the, with the cover screw, you won't be able to feel it with your tongue. Like, it will be as if 
you had nothing there. But with the healing abutment, um, it will be, it will feel like you have something there. Okay. So um, when we use the the healing abutment, it's typically after the uh, cover screw. So immediately after implant gets put in, you put the cover screw on, and then the implant is left to heal. Uh, undisturbed for about three to four months uh, sometimes even longer up to six months or maybe eight months depending on the complexity of your condition um, after that when the implant is nice and stable and ready to be restored with a tooth on top or a dental implant crown um, your uh, your surgeon will do what we call a stage two implant surgery where, where they will open up the gums uh, expose the implant and then they'll put the healing abutment on and once this is on uh, the gums will kind of heal around it okay and then that way when you're ready for the crown the hole is um is kind of um, kept open right so when your dentist goes to put the crown in the gums are uh, literally pushed away like it, it will maintain this hole here so you can put the crown on top because if the gums close over you can't put a tooth there right so that's essentially the the purpose of the uh, healing abutment is just to um, kind of shape the gums form it and keep the hole open uh, I guess like a, a, a an analogy would be kind of um, you know kind of leaving like an ear piercing through your earring hole right just to kind of keep the hole open right so yeah so so that is the uh, difference between a cover screw just to show you one more time the cover screw and the healing abutment. So I would call the cover screw a manhole cover and the healing abutment kind of like an earring, okay? Yeah, and that's it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.